Here's another way of combining SAS data sets. This is the update statement. So say we have two data sets, A and B, both of which have variables X and Y in them, as well as an ID variable at the very beginning. That might be a social security number or some other number that you use to identify the observations. So I've observations 1, 2, and 3 in the first data set, and 1 and 2 in the second data set. And what I want to do is replace things from the first data set with things in the second data set. So now I've got some new information. Maybe I've got some new telephone numbers on these guys. Maybe I know, well, now their weight has changed, or their height has changed, or something like that. So here's the old data set, the A, and then the new data set is B. Again, we have to sort these things by ID number. I'm going to leave the sort out from now on because I already know that my data is already sorted by ID number. Um, but in general, you have to run that proc sort. And then I'm going to do an update statement. All it is is update A, B by ID. And then I'm going to print it and run it. And this is what happens. Let me show you what the original data set looks like as well as the new one at the same time. So the original one was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for the um, x and y variables. And then the new one has 10, 20, and then a missing observation, and then 40. You can see how right here, instead of replacing the number 3 with the missing observation, it just leaves it as a 3. That's that 3 in the original data set. Um, but everything else got replaced. The 1, the 2, and the 4 got replaced by 10, 20, and 40 here. The 5 and 6 just stay where they are, because we don't have any new information on observation number 3. Now, let's try what happens when we have multiple updates. You cannot run an update in SAS when the data set A has multiple copies of a single observation according to the variable that you're updating by. So if I'm updating by ID, I can't have multiple copies of an observation with ID number 1. So it, the ID number has to be unique in data set A. It does not, however, have to be unique in data set B. What it's going to do is use the most recent copy, the last one in the data set, um, to update by. So if I run this, I'm going to use that second line, 1, 100, 200. And then it'll just ignore that first line. So see how 1 got replaced by 100 and 200, whereas